coming up in this read. Everything about this read is you keep doing you. And if this individual's wanting a fight, they're going to have to bring the fight to you and fight you on your own hill, on your own terms. Aries, let's get into your June reading. Any information that you need, you can find it all in my description box and in my pinned comment below. If you're cross-watching for an Aries, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. And please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You just take what's resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't for another Aries or cross watcher. Please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience, an open mind and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. Okay, so Aries, um, I'm pulling you four cards in total to lay the groundwork for the rest of your read. And I will take you through everything that's going on. Um, your first card out is a bit strange. It's the black dog and that, that's got multiple different connotations attached to it. Um, so with these two, I'm going to take the ones that flipped over because I dropped the other ones. OK, um, yeah, there's lots of different connotations attached to the black dog. For some of you, that could be depression. It says facing or reversed the grim acts as a warning. Yeah, so um, depression not not feeling quite right uh possibly suffering from nightmares that sort of thing um for others of you i'm feeling the message could be uh, something about loyalty as well as, as i say like it's got a lot of different connotations attached to that um for, for some of you there, there could be a concern that someone around you isn't actually loyal um that they're making out like they're on your side but actually that they're not and they're actively working against you but for those of you where that is resonating like i'm not giving you any new information with that one like you will already know or at least have your suspicions about who that is for, for those where that particular message is pertaining to and then you've got the lady inner strength patience and dignity Okay, um, a couple of different things. You could be the feminine that is suffering from depression, or there could be a, a feminine, not necessarily a female, um, a feminine around you that is pretending that they're loyal when they're actually not. Um, a little bit of a difficult situation there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clarify this one before we pull your main tarot spread because it doesn't feel right leaving that like as is. Okay, the octopus, organize and implement flexibility, creativity, organizational skills and self-healing with the star, a card of guidance. In the darkest hour, a steady light will guide your footsteps through the night. Guidance in a dark place, yep, got dark place here and assistance and a comforting presence. Okay. Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel, basically, Aries. And again, it's like if you, if you look at the way that these cards came out, you've got these two bookending what's going on here. So your darkness and then your light, that is literally your light at the end of the tunnel. So whatever this is pertaining to specifically for you, Aries, it, this is a reminder that your current situation is very, very temporary. It, I mean, it, it, it's not going to be this way forever. OK, things will change. They absolutely will. Um, Self-healing organization skills. OK, feeling overwhelmed. Some of you have been overwhelmed. It's like this black dog. Um, this might well have crept up on you because you were too focused on helping others and not really looking at the things that, that you needed to look at in your personal life. So an overwhelming sensation of basically everything getting on top of you. Um, you might find that uh, your patience is being tested as well. Um, 
with, with this flexibility it's like you, you can make a really well-meaning plan and you're still not going to be able to plan for every single eventuality so be prepared to be adaptable okay octopus are incredibly intelligent creatures really really intelligent um underestimated as well in a lot of occasions really it, it could be aries that people around you are underestimating you and your abilities and that could well be pissing you off with with this particular setup that could be what's pissing you off you being underestimated at every turn you know people just making really crass assumptions about you and your abilities and they they couldn't be further from the truth that that would piss anybody off You're being guided. It's saying that um, I'm feeling that this is spiritual. That there's a comfort in spiritual presence that, that is protecting you, Aries, and you can trust this. In fact, it might well have been this, uh, should we just call it an entity, that warned you for some of you about this female or feminine that's um they're not who they who they're making themselves out to be at all they're not and it, it it's like they, they could be trying to underestimate you and make you look like the fool because in actual fact they're the ones that are inadequate so that they could be trying to make out like you're the one that's inadequate um i i do need to clarify that one and tell me more please about the black dog and the lady for the Aries Collective for June, please. Black Dog and the Lady for Aries, please. Why is this here? Thank you. Strange. The Knight of Coins. That's Virgo energy. Um, slow and steady wins the race be careful everything about this energy is be careful be careful around this person or anybody that's associated with them uh, a knight of coins is um very slow to move because they're very deliberate with every single step that they take it, like that they're, they're super super careful that's why it takes them a long time to get anywhere because they, they they have to really look at absolutely everything with every single step i mean some say that the, the knight of coins isn't moving at all so perhaps aries this could be saying that your best course of action when it pertains to this sneaky devious individual is don't take action towards them but rather allow them to come to you and i'm, I'm getting another sun Tzu quote here um I'm, I'm gonna paraphrase it slightly because i do apologize i can't i can't remember it word for word but it goes a lot along the lines of do not go to your enemy allow your enemy to come to your hill you fight your enemy on your hill you don't go to them i'm, I'm getting this vibe here with, with, with this combination so you you take the knight of coin stance the 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 defensive stance so stand firm and wait for them to come to you and then you can fight them when you're in your own territory okay wow that's um that's a very serious way to begin your read there right so with that being said i'm going to start pulling your tarot and we will you're not going to be able to see that so i'll put that to the side but i'll remember what that was for okay um, but yeah, we're going to pull you a nine card spread and we'll see if we can get more information on this for you. 
What's coming in towards the Aries Collective, please, for the month of June? Right, so Aries. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> you've got two aces here, back to back. You've the ace of discs. It's the ace of coins. It's earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The ace of cups, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The two of discs, that's the two of coins. Um, that is Capricorn energy. The Knights of Cups, Pisces, the Ten of Wands, yeah, that's the Ten of Wands, uh, Sagittarius, the Moon, so the Moon would be Pisces, the King of Discs, that's the King of Coins, um, it's Taurus, the Five of Wands, Leo, the High Priest, uh, so that would be the Hierophant, it's Taurus energy, and then your overall energy is the Queen of Discs, it's the Queen of Coins, Capricorn, okay, so you've got a King and a Queen of Coins, um, that, that's like a power couple type energy, and there's the Hermit, it's Virgo, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, okay, so Aries, um, in business, it is being advised in business to broaden your horizons, to expand, there's, um, something really obvious that's going to help you to expand and it's like when it hits you you're going to be kicking yourself for not thinking about it before it, it's like you that the answer to your expansion is so blatantly obvious um there's something about thinking outside of the box here as well with the three of ones ace of ones so it's like still still doing what you're doing, uh, still keeping your current ethics to what you're doing, but like putting a bit of a creative and personal spin on it that's going to help you to stand out from the crowd. You, you can see the Three of Wands is all about merchants. It can be e-commerce as well. You know, if, if we're thinking about modern day, that this would be e-commerce. Um, Get getting your your product out there. Um, th th there's a lot of interest as well with that Ace of Wands. You you're bringing something really unique to the to the commercial world. Okay. Um. That's funny, with this hermit. So I've written a note to myself. I, I do that quite a lot with my decks. And I've written a defensive position, a place of shelter, a guardian or patron. But this one. And one of your first messages out, if you remember, this was to clarify the lady and the black dog. And we were talking about let your enemy come to you. Take the defensive position. <laughs> it's the same energy. In the meanwhile, you keep doing whatever it is that you're currently doing with this Queen of Coins. Whatever it is that you're currently doing to earn a living, you're on the right track. You're definitely on the right track. Um, I'm feeling that, that you have... Uh, created an enemy here because you're bloody good at what you're doing <laughs> that's why that's why so it, it's it's not that you've done anything wrong it's because you're doing everything right 
and we've seen three aces in your read. Mind you, had the queen, uh, the queen, the, the ace of wands under there, the ace of coins, and the ace of cups was missing. The ace of swords. The ace of swords. That that's all about your breakthrough, clarity, a revelation, the truth. Keep that ace of swords up your sleeve for now, Aries, because right now it's not required. Keep it safe. At the end of the day, someone has clearly underestimated you quite significantly. And you can use that. You can use that, but now is not the right time. Okay. Because they're not here yet. They're still struggling up your hill. They're still struggling to, to reach up to where, where you're at. And the thing with this, again, once they do get to the top of your hill, where you're standing, they're going to be so exhausted. And that's when you can pull out your Ace of Swords. Okay, so I'm just trying to put an imagery to, to this energy that's coming through here for this. Whoever it is that's against you, they're, they're going to be exhausting themselves. So that's why you're being told to focus on the coins. Focus on what's, what's in your immediate surroundings. Okay, F focus on what's in, in, your, um, in your reality right now. You know, the things that you can see and touch and hold. This, there's a message here as well about letting everyone know something. You see, th this deck is really different from, to, uh, from traditional tarot. Th this is the hermit. This particular hermit has got a trumpet. And he's, he's saying good news because th we've got a rainbow here as well. There, there is good news on its way to you, Aries, when it pertains to your finances, your property, if you own any, your businesses, everything to do with your physical surroundings, that there is really good news here when it pertains to that. And in fact, this hermit, mind how I was going on about that Ace of Swords, take another look. There's an Ace of Swords right there. Right there. He's not using it right now. He's not using it right now because there's no need. And the mountains as well. Whatever it is that you're currently doing, Aries, keep doing it keep doing it do not stop just because you've you've got um a hater that that that's the worst reason to stop doing something okay um let's take a look ace discs ace of cups so a brand new financial beginning and a brand new <clears throat> uh love beginning and then, of course, yes, your brand new creative beginning as well. So you've got everything at the moment, Aries. Absolutely everything. If you're currently struggling um, to find employment, it's indicating that you very soon will find that employment. If you're struggling to find a relationship, then you very soon will find that relationship. If you're currently struggling uh, with like a writer's block type energy, creative blocks, again, like you will soon find that that will pass quite quickly. The chariot under there, it will pass quickly. And then the two of coins. You will be able to uh, prioritise the things that you need to make a priority. 
So we started off your read with everything looking really um, uncertain. And then as we're working through it, we're starting to see th this um, difficult energy being alleviated. And we're not even down to the second row yet. Got the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Moon. So this one, Isa. Ice, Winter. A period of, dum of uh, dormancy, little action, delays, and rest. Hmm. A certain amount of delays could be causing um, anxiety inside of you, Aries. Because th there's this um, need for you to do something. It, it, it's almost telling me like this read is for someone who likes to be constantly on the move, constantly on the go, constantly doing something. And the fact that it, it looks like that there's not much of anything that's going on right now could be causing you uh, some sort of anxiety. There's, there's something more to this Knight of Cups, thank you. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. There's your Ace of Swords. For the Knight of Cups. Um, someone is definitely wanting to speak to you. And it's good, it is good. I'm feeling for the most of you, this pertains to a love offering. I'm also feeling as well that somebody's going to tell you something in good faith that's going to help you out with this uh, hater situation. It's almost like hearing it from this individual really helps you to make sense of a lot of things. Because I do sense that a lot of your energy has been spent um, worrying about the individual that's uh, actively working against you. So, so hearing some um, kind words and truth from a loving individual that is close to you is going to help you out. And then this Ten of Wands, it doesn't look like this is someone who's burdened. I mean, they're, they're carrying that with ease. It, it's like they're carrying something ready to start building rather than, um, if you remember in, in traditional tarot, it's like all of these ones are covering his eyes. He, he, he can't see where it is that he's going. He's at risk of falling over. This, this one doesn't look like they're at risk of falling over. It just looks like someone who is trying to keep themselves busy. And I feel that this is you, Aries. It's like a distraction tactic. That's actually really, really wise. And then we've got King, King of Discs, the Five of Wands and the High Priest. This is a leader. He's taken the charge in the battlefield. He's well prepared as well. Or as well prepared as he could be. I'm not seeing a weapon. I see a shield. But I don't see a weapon. So that's that ace of swords. That's what he's missing. He's missing his sword. You, 
You're missing your sword. Whatever, whatever this sword is, it could be a piece of information. It could be access to someone very knowledgeable. It could be an idea. Someone else has got this and they're going to be giving it to you. Could, it could be uh, a Pisces, a Pisces or someone who's got Pisces in their chart. They could have the missing information that you're needing. Because I'm telling you, Aries, everything about this energy feels like someone's coming at you. Through their own jealousy that they're coming at you. The God who's carried in a wagon, the High Priest, the Hierophant. The Ten of Wands to the Five of Wands, that's half. Um... You do have people on your side here, Aries. You actually do. You've got a lot more support than you previously thought you had. What a strange read. Can you tell us more, please, about this energy for Aries Collective? It's like there, there's people around you, Aries, and they're, they're bearing witness to everything that this uh, betrayer is attempting to do. It's like they're, they're seeing it. And it's like even though you can fight your own battles and you're perfectly able to fight your own battles, you're still going to be receiving help anyway. What else can you tell us about this energy for Aries Collective, please? Thank you. The Fool. Uranus. Yeah, it's going to be abundantly obvious to you. Who who are your true friends? See how he's got that wee white dog looking right at, looking right at, at him. It's going to be abundantly obvious who your true friends actually are. What else can you tell us about this energy for the Aries Collective, please? Very faithful friends as well. With the, with the High Priest and the Fool, that's like super, super faithful. And material success with the Six of Coins as well. Yeah, Aries, um, it, it's almost like someone is jealous of not just what you have, but like what you do, who, who you are, um, because they, they see that, that you're helping lots of other people it could be you uh financially helping someone else and then there's someone there's another person sort of looking on like well aries doesn't help me aries has never helped me why is that and you, you know it, it's like they, they've allowed it to build up and replay over and over and over in their head and it, it, it's like they, they've created a situation in their head that doesn't exist and yet they're hating on you for it anyway it's like the fuck is up with that four of swords rest from strife rest from the strife not every battle that comes to you do you have to fight Aries. Not everybody 
is a worthy opponent, should we say? I mean, whoever this individual is, that, that they're not worthy of your time. Like, that much is abundantly clear. It really is abundantly clear. Rest from strife. So, I'm feeling that whoever that individual is, they're going to find someone else soon enough to be on the receiving end of, of their nastiness and, and their bullshit. It's someone who definitely lives for drama. And you've, you've not got time. You do not have time for drama. Because from what I can see, it, it's like you're trying to, you're trying to build up important things in your life. You know, you've got, you've had all of the four aces out in your read now. Every single one of the aces. The two of coins, harmonious change. And then the seven of swords, unstable effort. So it's kind of like, nice try, but you didn't get me. That's you. That's you, Eddie's. And you're like, yep, they've tried everything. They've tried, they've tried chucking everything at me. Nothing worked. They, they didn't get me. Uh, I'm, I'm still here. Harmonious change. You've got the two yin yang symbols there as well. And there's a king and a queen, king and a queen of discs. That's like business partner type energy, power couple energy. Yin and Yang, twin flames. There, there could be a twin flame situation here. Like, that this king and queen of discs, they could be twin flame counterparts. And then the jealous, envious individual is like trying to either stop you guys from coming into union or split you guys up not realizing what it is that they're um that they're trying to interfere with they they do not like how successful you are they really really do not like it at all Your entire guidance throughout this read, Aries, has been like, um, you're aware of it. You know exactly who they are and what they're about, but you don't have to focus on it. Okay. Everything about this read is you keep doing you. And if this individual's wanting a fight, they're going to have to bring the fight to you and fight you on your own hill, on your own terms. You're not going to go to them. Definitely not, because you, you're too busy building up, building up, build, building up your business. Uh, looking for a home to buy for some of you. Um, having building work done on your home or actually building your home from scratch for some of you. You know, you, you don't have time for, bet, for petty drama and gossip and maliciousness. You've got much bigger, uh, much bigger problems going on. Well, not, not problems, but you know what I mean? Like you, you've got better things to be prioritizing, basically. Someone, someone's definitely going to give you a random piece of information about that individual. And you're going to keep it by your side. Uh, and you, you're going to use that information really uh, strategically. Remember, the sword's energy is all about strategy as well. So it's like, yeah, you could say something right now, but you're not going to. Because if you were to say it right now, it wouldn't have as much impact as what it would if, if you uh, 
got your timing right. What else, please? For the Aries Collective. Thank you. Manas and Skadi. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's have a look. Manas, number 20. Develop yourself in all the ways that you can. Fulfill your potential. Do not shy away from the collective consciousness. Human nature means mistakes are made but we can learn from them. Working with and for the community is becoming important for you. Be rational about an issue rather than emotional. Okay. Manas represents us, humans and humanity, humankind. Our common strengths and weaknesses remind us that we're all human that we are more alike than we are different. The Vikings relied on all the members of their communities to contribute to the collective well-being as well as fulfilling their personal fate and spiritual energy. To the Vikings this combination, the personal striving for excellence in a chosen field and the responsiveness to the needs of the community as a whole was the recipe for a successful society. The Rune Manas asks for both unapologetically. The Shroon also indicates a need for a stronger connection between the gods and man, for a greater trust in the divine. It was believed that the gods gave us our gifts, but that it was, uh, but that it was up to us to push fate along and achieve our full potential. The waste of talent was a great source of sadness to the Norse. One didn't squander good health, a good pair of hands, or an inclination towards poetry, music, or service to the gods. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's where the hate comes from, Aries, because you are living your potential. And the, the hateful person doesn't know how to. And that that's, it's a crying shame. It's a huge waste. So again, it, it's not because you're doing anything wrong. It's because you're doing everything right. Okay. I just need you to remember that. If you don't remember anything else about this read, just remember that. Number 34. Okay. Skardi, know yourself. It is the most important of life's work. Express your independence. Let authenticity be your guide. Compromise is a part of every relationship, but when compromise pushes you to be somebody that you're not, then a change should be made. There is an easier way to do things. Speak plainly. Uh, Skardi is a Norse goddess best known in the mountainous parts of the region. Beautiful, strong, resourceful and independent. Her name is linked to the words for unknown and darkness and may even be the source of the word Scandinavia, a land which is dedicated to her. Should Skadi step into your life with this card, she is reminding you that being honest, direct and respecting your own personal freedom is paramount. If you need, uh, if you need to courage, oh, I think, I think they've typed that wrong. I think if you need to courage should just be if you need courage to be who you really are, then ask Skadi for assistance. Mm. Now, usually that comes out when somebody is heavily criticizing you. So someone being overly critical of who you are as an individual, Aries. Please don't take that as a reflection of who you are, okay? Be strong, be fierce, be independent. You know that, that you're living in your truth. You know that you're living in your potential. You know that you ain't lying about shit about yourself. You know these things. This is coming from someone else's insecurities. 
someone else's BS is not a reflection of who you are, Aries. It really, really isn't. I'm seeing for the most part, you're trying to build and create the best life possible for yourself. What else please for Aries Collective? If anyone is trying to convince you to change up something about yourself, Aries, they need to go. Okay, you've got I care about you. And it's all possible for you. Yeah. Some Someone's trying to knock your self-esteem. They're trying to knock your self-esteem. This feels like a message from the universe. The universe is saying, I care about you. I, I love you. I, I respect you. And it, it feels mutual as well. Listen, I'm going to have to leave that one there. But um, I, I don't know. It, it was really serious all the way through that read. Um, problematic individual. Absolutely not your problem, though, Aries. And I think we've seen a similar trend coming out in your read a few times before, um, if I'm not mistaken. For some of you, though, it, it, it's going to be a lot more difficult because this individual could actually be uh, related to you, like blood related to you. And there could be this overall feeling of, well, I'm stuck and I'm trapped. I, I have to listen to them because they are my fill in the blank here. And it's like, Aries, listen, you're being reminded that you decide who you are, not, not anyone else. You do. Someone else's criticisms of you. Again, look at them. Look at them. Are, are they uh, a source of inspiration? I mean, who are they to speak? What 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 are their accolades? You know, who who are they to be sitting there judging you about your life and the decisions that you make? And uh, it's just it's just bullshit. It, it honestly it just it's all bullshit right anyway i'm gonna have to leave that one there um if you would like to pick a private reading that is more catered towards your specific needs then you can place your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com thank you so much for watching and we shall speak again soon bye